three, two, Atlas engine one. ignition, Teaser. zero, you want to and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket carrying the Inmarsat 4F1 five, satellite for Inmarsat Limited of London, which will bring a new era of high-speed digital one, satellite ten. communication services. Lift off of an island proton from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with MRSAT 5 F3 satellite on board. Oh, it's a very complicated effort. You have got a rocket that weighs over a million pounds. You have the booster vehicle, which has three stages of the proton boost. Uh, that essentially drops off the upper stage, which is a 3ZEM upper stage. 14 or 15 hours later, the satellite is separated from the, uh, the final stage of the rocket. We then receive telemetry and, uh, at our control centre here. Uh, and then we go through a long process of raising the satellite orbit up to geostationary. We have uh, our mission control centre uh, in El Segundo, California. And after launch, when the rocket drops us off, uh, engineers then take control of the satellite and take the satellite to its final location on orbit. At that point, you're in what they call a highly elliptical orbit. Uh, so the next phase of the mission is to start doing uh, burns, that's rocket thrust from the spacecraft itself, to turn that highly elliptical orbit into a nice circular geosynchronous geostationary orbit. Uh, there are some electric uh, engines from which will raise the orbit for the final part. Um, it takes approximately two months uh, to get it to orbit. Uh, once it's there, we work with the Inmarsat team and the Inmarsat uh, engineers and test out the satellite. And after making sure the units on board are behaving as expected, that they've all survived the rigorous uh, experiences of being launched through this orbit, um, we can then go on to the next level of testing, which is the kind of identifying the performance level that we've achieved. Uh, and so it's a really, you know, it's a long, long process before we're able to declare the spacecraft fit to, to carry traffic for our, for our commercial customers.